probably a good idea that we truncated or attenuated our boating holiday as although the canal has been shut for a couple of months due to the works down in Victoria Keys that wasn't good enough for the Canal and River Trust they want it shut a little bit further so for a couple of weeks which will turn out to be a month from tomorrow they're replacing the pump that keeps this canal at its normal level which is a well you can see where the normal level is uh, and so they've started draining it as a consequence this but why they couldn't have done that while they've drained down here i've no idea um it does um it does stink a little bit of um i think the technical term is complete fucking incompetence but anyway uh, as you can see this boat here is now resting on the bottom so it is not going to be going anywhere but the worry that i had was with the narrow boat here if it slips down in the water because you know it's floating so it goes down with the water is that the gunnels here would get caught underneath this landing stage you see and then when the water came back up the boat would get caught and either break the landing stage or tip the boat over or strand the boat there forever so what i has done is this with thanks to our neighbours at Hallam Scaffolding, I got a couple of three metre, yes, that's a three metre scaffold pole. Give you an idea of just how deep the canal is. Um, so what I've done is plonked it down into canal bed and then put this ratchet strap. This doesn't, it's not taking any massive weight, but it's simply to make sure that the boat doesn't slip underneath the landing stage. I've put another one here. I didn't ratchet strap this one on. I've actually tied this one on. Look at that. I mean, that's almost art. You could call that shibari. I know some girls who'd be well pleased with that. Yeah, I'm mixing my interests now. Uh, so anyway, this is secured here. Um, again, just to stop it sort of sliding out if the boat was to push it in uh, so hopefully now I will not have to worry too much about this little narrow boat here getting caught on the landing stage I'll give you a shot from big board so you know what I'm in so there we have as you can see it's all kind of hollow not hollow but you know there's nothing underneath the landing stage so the gunner was here could easily have just slipped under and caught the boat so sorted happy now safe and secure that <laughs> when the canal and river trust take all the water out of the canal we'll be laughing this one's already sat on bottom this isn't going anywhere this is 46 tons this is uh, this is now stranded until they put some water back in what a lovely day though eh? I'll try and make some more of these silly little time-wasting videos just to keep people occupied who might be stuck stranded at home, which is kind of like what we are, where we're socially isolating. Have been for a while, if I'm honest. And even when you know they were open, I'd go to a local pub and we would stay well clear of everybody in there and uh, probably safer than going to the supermarket because supermarkets are dirty, crowded, highly infected places. Um, we went to the Bar Stewards, which is a bar in Sheffield, down at Showersmore, a couple of times. And it was almost empty, highly sanitised, clean, low risk. But, you know, that's now going to wait probably for anywhere between six and 12 months. So I'd better find uh, some really interesting stuff for everybody who's also experiencing i'm going to do a few brews but for now this is the boaty bits all done we have our poles down into canal and we're safe from losing the boat <laughs> probably not from from, <laughs> from a certain virus but there you go on a day like this it's all right to socially isolate because i can sit next to the canal 
and have a beer and not have to worry about sharing it. Back soon, boys and girls. Oh, if you like this rubbish, please consider subscribing to the channel, etc. and all that rubbish. And it'd be lovely to have you. Till next time. Bye.